What's up guys, this is Frankie with DIY Autotune and Ampify, and today I'm bringing you a pretty easy video for a commonly asked question that we get, and that's how do you load um, or update your firmware using Tuner Studio. So today we're sitting in Jerry's 1968 Camaro, and this car is running an MS3 Pro Ultimate, and we're gonna update the firmware on this unit, and uh, Pretty much the steps for this is gonna be all the same. So if you're running a micro squirt, MS2, MS3, MS3 Pro, or any of our MS PMP units, the steps for this is exactly the same in Tuner Studio. So just continue to follow along, uh, and I promise this should make some sense afterwards. So let's dive in and uh, let's get going. Okay, so let's open up the browser here, and you can see I have it loaded up with our article that was just posted on DIY Autotune. This was written by Matt Kramer, and he did a really good job laying this out. So if you guys at any time during this video get lost, you can always refer back to this article. This is basically my reference for this entire video. So go ahead and refer back to this article or pause the video and uh, rewind it, whatever you guys prefer but uh, all of the information that you guys are, are seeking for this article is right here. Uh, you can find it under support articles, technical articles, the subcategory other tech articles, and you'll see it listed as loading Megasquirt firmware using Tuner Studio. So please refer back to that article anytime if you need it. So just like step one says, we're gonna go to msextra.com. And this is the homepage of MS Extra. We're gonna go up here to the top and you'll see downloads. Let's click on that. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see the Megasquirt 3 and the Megasquirt 2 firmware downloads. Since we're running an MS3 in this car, the MS3 Pro, we're gonna be using Megasquirt 3 firmware. You'll also use that for MS3, MS3X, and any of the MS PMP Pro line that we offer. And uh, for Megasquirt 2 based products like MS2, Microsquirt, or the MS PMP2 units, you're gonna go ahead and download the Megasquirt 2 firmware files. But let's go ahead and get this 1.5.2 release firmware downloaded. Okay. Now we're going to open up Tuner Studio and you can see here I have uh, Jerry's Camaro project saved here so we're going to open that up. One thing that to, to note out of the article is Matt specifies in step three of the article that you want to make sure that you have your coil packs disconnected before you update the firmware. Now on certain setups when you're updating the firmware you could unintentionally uh, turn on your coil packs for the duration of the firmware upload. And that's something we kind of want to avoid because uh, obviously if we leave those on for too long, we have the possibility of causing some damage, uh, melting them. Melting them means heat, heat means fire, fire means burn your car down, cry into your hands, and then realize you spent so much money and it turned into a pile of ashes. So let's continue on with our coil plugs unhooked and not powered up. So first things first, let's go ahead and turn this on. Our ECU is now communicating with the laptop, so we're free to go on. Go up here to the top to Tools, click Tools, and Update Install Firmware. The loader is going to pop up here. We can go ahead and click Next. And then you're going to see the Backup Project Now option. So let's go ahead and back up the project now. Let's go ahead and save it as that. Now this is going to basically back up your entire project as well as the tune, etc. So it really does help out with doing that. So it's always better safe than sorry. And we can move on from here, click next. Now this is the loader just going to find our ECU and confirm it's connected. As you can see, it said found MS3 Pro Ultimate. So we're all set. And now we're going to browse for the firmware we want to up the, uh, upload into our ECU and that's going to be right here, the 1.5.2 zip. You do not have to unzip these folders. If you click on it and press open, Tuner Studio does all the work and will find the correct files for you. So let's open that up. <clears throat> and boom, now you can see it has the recommended firmware file here. You always want to use the recommended firmware file unless it's otherwise stated by a technical support rep. Um, so let's go ahead and click recommended and move on. All right, we're gonna uh, accept the firmware license agreement here. Attached to this agreement are some notes through it and also the release notes for the firmware with information regarding on the, um, the uh, changes, etc. Now, since I know that this is a good running car, we're gonna go ahead and leave all of the sensor calibrations and everything like that checked. Um, if you are troubleshooting a tune issue and uplo uh, uploading the firmware uh, just to help troubleshoot that issue, you may want to un uh, uncheck these boxes and then move on by checking your tune later down the road. Uh, but since I know that this is a really well set up car and the car runs, 
we're going to go ahead and leave it as is. Now this part takes a while, so go grab a beverage or something because it's going to be a minute. Okay, firmware has been loaded. Uh, we're all set, so we're going to go ahead and press next. Now this next window you're going to see here is if you press restore project tune settings, what it's going to do is it's going to update the definition of your project folder to match what is now on the ECU. Um, if you don't press this button, which I'm going to show you here in a second, there will be another pop up that's basically asking you to do the same thing. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and click finish. I'm going to exit without restoring the tune settings. And this is what I was talking about for the pop up. So the pop up here. <clears throat> is basically saying that the project folder is reading 1.5.2 beta and we have now updated our ECU to 1.5.2 the full release firmware. So all we're going to be doing here is update ECU definition to make the project folder match what's on the ECU. Now this is going to close the project and upload the project again. Um, now you may have a pop-up like this where it's going to show you that there are some errors or warnings during your uh, tune, uh, your tune upload. And um, typically these are things that um, may have a different definition from what it used to have. In this case, on this car, um, what you're going to see here listed is it's reading in map percentage uh, instead of reading in KPA. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just press close because the car runs. But if you do have any questions or anything like that regarding any of this review um, that you see, if it pops up that there are issues with your tune um, and you're concerned about it, go ahead and reach out to one of our support techs and we'll definitely look over it for you. Um, more likely than not, it's just an updated um, term that they're using in the new firmware. So and we're done. So now your your car is now updated with the the newest firmware and you're ready to go so you can continue on with your project and that's how you do it so um, i hope that answered any questions that you guys might have um, if i can do it i'm just the fabricator so if i could do it you can do it so uh, i hope that helped and if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out uh, go do cool stuff with your project like burnout and stuff on a close course because safety is key have a good one see you guys later <laughs>